no bullshit, no nothing. In today's video, we'll be sharing five tips for skinny guys to finally bulk up. And as you guys know, I'm not here to waste your time. So let's get right into it. All right, guys. Now, the first thing to finally bulk up as a skinny guy, weigh yourself once per week. Us skinny guys, we're eating so much, man. We're having so much trouble actually bulking up and gaining weight. And the last thing you want to do is mindfuck yourself and tell yourself that you're not gaining weight. Just to give you guys an example, maybe you have like this night that you go out or that you eat a whole lot and you weigh yourself in the evening, you're weighing in at like 80 kgs. But the next morning you wake up and because of just you losing water weight and your body losing all these calories, you maybe even cut down to like 78 kgs. And in your mind, you're like, oh no, I lost weight. Even some of my clients come up to me saying like, after I did some cardio, I lost some weight. How can I prevent this? It's just simply your body losing this water weight and at the end of the day you don't want to mind fuck yourself and you want to see your real progression so my honest tip would be to weigh yourself once per week at a set date for me it's like a saturday or a sunday in the morning after you use the bathroom and just keep that weight in counts so you track your real weight now before i move on into the next tip let me show you guys a bulking meal Alright guys, I ended up using 3 tortilla wraps, in total probably about like 50 grams of pesto, some mozzarella cheese tomatoes, comes out this many calories, take this meal away, it's absolutely amazing for bulking. Alright guys, moving on into the second tip, the before and after meal. When it comes down to working out and, and building muscle in the gym, that's of course our end goal. You want to gain weight, but you probably want to gain some mass as well, and you might do that by going to the gym or hitting home workouts. Now, a lot of studies actually have like mixed opinions on the topic of what you should have before and after your workouts. And the one study says it's carbs and the other study says it's protein. Why not just combine both and have protein and carbs after and before your workout? It's so important to actually fuel your body to go as hard as you can into the gym in order to build the most mass that you want. And also it's very important after your workout to recover your body with the right protein and carbs to get your energy levels back up and get your body into the recovery state. My best pre-workout meal, in my opinion, is either breakfast, lunch, or dinner. I just, you're always gonna have like a mix of carbs, protein, and maybe even fats in your breakfast, dinner, and lunch. And I'll just like to work out either in the afternoon or in the evening. Then I just use my lunch or dinner as my pre-workout meal. But I'm just gonna show you guys my favorite post-workout meal right now. But before I actually show you guys this meal, let's hit this workout. To be completely honest with you guys, I actually pre-recorded this workout. That's also why I'm not really getting like a post-workout meal right now. But this is what it would look like. It would be 125 grams of Greek yogurt in combination with a banana. First of all, I'm gonna move on into more ingredients soon. First of all, the Greek yogurt, very healthy source of protein. Just a good substance to put some other stuff in. A banana, very healthy. You also get some micronutrients from the vitamins and fruit in general is good, but I prefer using a banana because of the high calories and also because of the high carbs. What you're gonna add into that is gonna be 100 grams of granola. This is very calorie dense. You're gonna get about 450 calories back just for those 100 grams. And then the last thing, remember I said carbs and protein, you're gonna add like half a scoop or one scoop of your favorite whey protein flavor in there. This is gonna give your granola mix the best taste ever. And you're gonna bump up that protein. I just decided to throw in like an extra post-workout meal for you guys. Leave a like for that. All right guys, moving on to the third tip and that is gonna be calories first. Maybe some of you guys have already watched the channel and then you would know that you can simply gain weight if you eat more than what you burn. And at the end of the day, it's all about eating more calories than you burn, all right? So to be completely honest, if your goal is to gain weight, I wouldn't care too much about, first of all, about the carbs, the fats and the protein. Be sure that you hit your calorie goal first, all right? Of course, I want you guys to get healthy carbs in, healthy protein, healthy fats. But if you really want to gain weight, just focus on getting those calories in. And I'm even going to take this a step further. The only two things I want you guys to focus on 
are gonna be calories and protein. Those are also like the only two things I really track during the day. Getting your calories in, as I just explained, and I'm gonna throw up a video in the in the top right hand corner as well, uh, where I explain everything about how to gain weight. You simply need to eat more than what you burn, as I already mentioned. So get your freaking calories in. And secondly, protein is just gonna be very important to build that mass and actually keep your muscle and grow your muscles bigger throughout the day. Tip number four, let's talk about some supplements. As a skinny hard gainer, as a skinny guy, there are three supplements that I can personally recommend that I also take on a day-to-day -day basis. The first one is creatine. And the reason I'm not showing you guys on screen is because I'm gonna be talking about this bad boy in a second. And this also contains some creatine. Creatine is probably known as the most researched supplement in the fitness industry. It has probably like an index of one on a hundred, which means that the benefits are 100 and the risk of getting negative effects is like one. It can really help you keep some size, build up muscle and creatine has been found in like steak and stuff like that. But it's just very hard to get a nice amount of creatine on a day to day basis. And by just taking about five grams every single day, you can definitely see some gains and bulk up. Second one is going to be the whey protein. Remember how I told you guys to have those calories first. Of course, you have to try and focus on eating healthy food, but if you're wanting to gain weight, there probably is gonna be like some fast food or some sugar intake throughout your day if you really need those calories. And that's why something like protein powder at the end of the day or just after your workout can really help you bump up that protein and focus on your protein goal. And now the third thing, I don't recommend this. I don't think everybody needs this. It's gonna be an extreme weight gainer blend. By the way, all of it is from my protein. I'm not sponsored yet, <laughs> but um, yeah, you can check it out. You're simply gonna be able to get like 550 calories back. And I personally use this also after every single workout or just before I go to bed. And the best thing is that these weight gainer blends can contain also your daily dose of creatine, as well as just some healthy protein and carbs. Now, the one thing I want to really say is don't rely on supplements. You can take your protein power and your creatine and stuff like that, but that's not gonna make you gain weight. That is not gonna make you gain muscle, man. It's all about the total calories and there's so much misconception about the supplements and, and how it affects your body, man. It can help you reach your goals, but your general nutrition and training should be on point too. And the last tip I want to share is to have a routine. And you can look at this for both in the gym and as a meal plan. If you simply have a routine and you eat at fixed times, it's just gonna be way easier for you to get meals in regularly. You know, like currently when I'm recording this video, we're in this COVID-19 times, you know, and maybe your sleeping schedule is all over the place and you're waking up at 11, going to sleep at like two. Just try to find a routine so you have those fixed meals and fixed workouts and it's just gonna be way easier for you to go throughout your day and actually get those calories and workouts in. And to be honest, that's like the biggest thing I miss about, I miss about my old normal life. It's just a routine and just coming back from school, being able to hit my workout and just having those fixed meals. It was just so easy for me to keep myself into that routine. Now, the last thing I want to mention is to follow my Instagram. First of all, a bit of self-promotion and I actually post a lot of good stuff around gaining weight and building muscle on my page as well. But secondly, I simply reply to every single DM that I get on my Instagram. Not even a lie, within 24 hours, you'll receive a, a message from me. So if you have a question around gaining weight, building muscle, or just want to ask me something, go ahead to my Instagram, link is down in the description, or simply follow at VB Fitness YouTube, and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, first of all, to help me out, but second of all, to help all of these hard gainers, because this could actually boost up the YouTube algorithm, and probably more hard gainers and skinny guys can see this, and I hope you guys can simply bulk up and gain some more weight. Subscribe to the channel. Hope to see you all next time. Let's make these games.